Hey guys, it's Becky with Design Bundles and I'm super excited to share with you today how to use UV resin. So UV resin can be a little intimidating and it's also not super cheap as a startup because of course you need the resin and the lamp and the blanks and sometimes the glitter and the vinyl. So it just depends on where your starting point is, but we're gonna walk you through start to finish and show you how to work with UV resin to really take your projects to the next level. Okay, so here we are. I hope you guys don't mind. I went ahead and cut and weeded the decals. I made two acrylic blanks with their keychains. I have some copy paper to kind of help with the mess control and the glitter. Speaking of glitter, this is what I'm using today. It's a white iridescent type glitter. And then this is just a purple sample glitter that I received. Uh, of course, we have transfer tape. Our tools are a script paper and a diamond tip reamer. This is the resin that I'm using. It's a UV resin, and I do have a UV lamp. And then for mixing and application, we have these little guys. These are, um, I believe they're makeup sample applicators and we have some basic mixing cups. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and apply these decals to the acrylics. Now this needs to come off. This is a protective layer. Also, in case you're wondering, my acrylics are two and a half inches. These are two and a half inch circles. You always want to leave the coating on there until you are ready. It just keeps them nice and clean. And I'm going to go ahead and put them on some copy paper. That way I don't have to handle them excessively and get my fingerprints all over them. There we go. Nice and pretty. Okay, now let's trim down our transfer tape. We just need small pieces. Now you know most transfer tape is reusable, so we should be able to use this piece for both acrylics. The first one I'm going to do is I want to pick up, now I used a pretty pattern on here. Now let me show you what the pattern looks like. These are the two patterns that I used, and of course we'll take a look when, it's, when they're finished and show you how the patterns look on the acrylics. But I really try to choose bright color patterns when I can, because as you can see, um, you know, you don't really get the full pattern on there, and I really like that pop. So I picked up the pattern first, because the underside is going to be my white. Um, when I'm using pattern, and of course I'm pairing this pattern with a bright color glitter, so I wanted to use the white behind the letter B. Okay, so there we go. So let's just take an up close look. So I did not layer behind the circle, just the B. Pull the acrylic over and layer it as centered as I can. And having that circle helps with that in my opinion. Now I'm trying only to touch the acrylic where I have to. And when I can, I leave it on the paper or I touch the vinyl instead. All right, so that one is applied. Now I'm going to be working on these both at the same time, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this as well. Okay, so that task is done. I slide our tools out of the way for now. And we have two really awesome acrylics that are ready for some UV resin. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is talk about the two differences. We need two cups because we're working with two, we'll call them colors of resin. Uh, as you know, the resin is clear. Let me go ahead and pull this guy out of the box. And what I'm going to do for this one, we are going to do a purple back, and then we will come back and do clear on the front, okay? So there's our purple. And for this one, all we're going to do is do a nice coat 
of clear on the front, but we're going to add a little bit of sparkle. And then once we're done with the purple, we'll add the same sparkle here. So what I'm going to do is mix the resin for this one. Okay. And then if I have any left over, I'll be able to use it for this one also. So I added the resin to the cup. Let's add resin to this cup. Now you can use the resin sparingly. Um, you can always add a second coat if you need to. I'm going to use two different tools for application. There we go. We do not want to cross contaminate those. So on the purple, we'll start here first. I do want to try to keep the purple on the sheet. This purple, of course, is gorgeous. So I'm going to use my application tool and I'm going to scoop out that purple. Okay, now you do want a good ratio. You do not want to be able to see through your resin. Let me see what's going on here. Okay. You also don't want to waste that pretty glitter, so make sure you get it all mixed in. And we're talking about a very small amount. This is not a large amount of resin on here. So with my acrylic, I want to cover the entire back. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to get all of it out that I can, only because I know that I need a lot for the size of an acrylic. And a lot is relative. If you're used to working with um, either resin or doing the um, regular two-part epoxy tumblers and that sort of thing, then this will seem like a small amount to you. So I want to bring this all the way to the edge. And that's why I like using the spatula type tools. I do not want to get it in my keychain hole if I can help it. It's kind of like icing a cake because I don't want to scrape all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so if I'm having any problems getting all the way to the edge, that's where I really like to come back in with that silicone brush. So let's see what that looks like. It has a smaller tip and I can just come all the way up and I want to push it to the edge without it going over. So after that's done, because uh, you noticed probably a couple times I pulled from my resin in the middle. So you can go back and smooth that out if you need to. But for the most part, it should level back out and you just want to make sure that you have a nice even coat all the way around. I probably worry more about the edges than I do about the middle. I'm not sure if that's necessary or not, but it's just my thing, I guess. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. But instead of that big heaping scoop, I just want to add a little bit. Okay, because this is actually going over the top. So all I'm doing is adding some sparkle to my design. Now for this one, I do want to make sure that I'm getting the entire design, but it's not, the coverage doesn't have to be the same because this is going on transparent. So it's not like I'm going to have some crazy gaping hole in my glitter coverage. Does that make sense? So I still want good coverage. I don't want it to be uneven, but I'm just saying I don't worry quite as much when I'm just doing a top coat like this. So what I do, once I have this taken care of, I usually try to catch the glare and the light and make sure that I have good coverage. And if I have any open spots, I can always add more resin. And you want to make sure that you're working on a level surface also. So, so far I have not come into any projects that I've been like, oh no, I use too much resin here. Um, but especially the UV resin, it can be a little pricey. So that's the only reason that I try to conserve the UV resin when I can. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I can slide this guy over because my guy here can fit both of these. Let me get it open. And we're going to go for two minutes. All right, so now that that's done, 
Let's remove this guy. Give it a feel. All right, we are good. So the first thing I want to do is set my UV lamp aside. I want to check out how this guy turned out. Ooh, look, so pretty. So now I'm going to apply my top coat here. And this one does not need another coat unless I just specifically want to give it a coat on the back. So with that turned over, I'm going to use the same epoxy cup. I'm going to grab some more UV resin. And I'm going to use a new little spatula. Let's put some glitter in there. Give it a good mix. And again, I want to make sure this is flat. Now, adding the glitter to this one wasn't absolutely necessary um, because I have the glitter on the back already, but it's just more or less so that I still get the glitter on top of my pattern vinyl. So this one is finished. So now we have two completely sealed sides and it's a little thicker. So when possible, I only do the one side, but we have two really awesome projects here. So let's go ahead and add our hardware and our tassels and we'll see what the finished project looks like. All right. So what do you guys think? We put on some hardware. Let's see if I can get up close for you. Can you see all the gorgeous glitter that's in that resin? So it dawned on me that we didn't talk about why we would want to do resin. Of course, it's awesome for adding the sparkle and the glitter, but technically you could do the same thing with vinyl, given the right type of vinyl to use, correct? But this also forms a protective barrier, okay? So that your vinyl is nice and sealed on there. And for the most part, you do not have to worry about this coming off um, under normal wear and tear conditions. So also an important thing to notate is we did both of these on the front of our acrylic, but what's more common to see is if we were not using patterns, because see how the pattern looks on the back? That's not super exciting, right? So I could cover that up if I wanted to, but what's more common is to use a solid color of adhesive vinyl that would go underneath the acrylic. So you would apply it to the back and then do your glitter and um, resin over it so that it would just show through. So just a few tips and tricks to keep in mind. Let's see if you can see those. Here we go. All right, so overall I am very, very happy with how these turned out. And hopefully you guys learned a thing or two about using UV resin with your projects. So what do you think about UV resin? I mean, it's really not that intimidating once you get through it the first time. You know, it's a little stressful always trying a new craft, but hopefully we were able to impart some wisdom and uh, get you more comfortable with jumping in on those projects. So if you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them below. We always come back and follow up with you guys. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel because we have a ton of great videos planned for you right around the corner. So thanks for joining me today, guys. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you again next time.